Hey, this is Dan. Bob. And Dr. Agro. From Gigaboots.com, and welcome to the Quick Play Sonic Generations. <sighs> Let's go ahead and get started. The only level you get to play in this demo is of the 2D Retro Sonic. Well, this looks pretty cool. I mean, look at that. That's, that's Honestly, crazy. The, the one issue, like, I had an issue with this popping up because, you know, in older Sonics, they didn't really load, so... Um, I, I don't expect to see it as long as it was just up. That wigged me out. Um, now, I'm going to do a video where I point out all the problems with this. And I hope to not make this a really redundant experience for anyone who's going to check that out. So I'm just going to skim over some stuff here. Um, there's a shitload of motion blur, which is really irksome. And the 30 frames per second doesn't really blend well with fast Sonic gameplay. It kind of makes it kind of look choppy. But for some reason, they made the decision to lock it into 30 frames per second. I don't know why. That just seems yeah, like the doesn't... exact opposite decision you would make early on. We're making Sonic. Let's uh, not do that. Yeah, you'd think you'd go for uh, worst looking graphics and 60. Yeah, responsive controls and whatnot. Um, something interesting they've done with this is they actually added... Uh, two extra button functions. You can just spin dash by pressing square, or you can press circle and crouch. Um, since this is retro Sonic, I'm not sure why they tried to modernize it by adding buttons to do those functions. They're really basic functions to circle I, to crouch. Yeah, yeah that's, that's such that's, a weird thing. Pointless. Like, who thinks I need to crouch? <clears throat> circle. I mean, you can do the whole hold circle with your thumb and press X to spin dash, but. It, that's harder than holding down. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's harder than hitting down. I mean, yeah. Having a dedicated spin dash button is kind of cool. It is, kind of. Um, the way they use it in this is a little strange in my opinion because it seems almost like... Uh, which Sonic did it? I think it was Rush that had the slide function. And when you come up to things that you need to slide under, it's oh, like, no, hey, that, press square. That was Adventure 2, wasn't it? Uh, well, Adventure 2 had that, but I I'm talking more like a slide, oh, less gonna... like a, a spin. But yeah, as you can see, when you come up to that, it's like, hey, hit square. And you do. And no matter what speed you hit that tube at, you're always going to go max speed, which was really weird, because a couple times I just walked in there, and it's like, boom, full speed. And the reason why I find that strange is, you know, because Sonic, I don't know. Sonic, to me, has always been about this feeling of momentum. I mean, that's obviously why they made a pinball game out of Sonic, because he controls like he has momentum like a pinball. You know, he sort of follows the course loosely and blah, blah, blah. So the whole, oh, you touch the inside of a tube, you're now going max speed when it's a hole in the ground was strange as shit. Yeah, now, I think they put some bumper there or something to make it look like it's going to do that. Yeah, like the speed tracks that they put in, um, which one was that? Advance? God, I just, I'm kind of bad at pointing out when the newer mechanics start showing up because they're in uh, the advanced titles and Rush. And I mostly played the uh, console ones. Um, another thing, if you hit down and press jump really fast, you do the sort of tard spin. <laughs> which is, to me, strange because the whole point of a spin dash is to get out of there. So if you're, if you're in a hurry and you're like, oh fuck, something, gotta go fast. Yeah. Oh, they changed the animation for when he has speed boots, looks like. Huh? Looks like he has a slightly different animation for running when he has speed boots. Oh, I think you just do that at full speed. Oh. Uh, yeah. See? Yeah, okay. Yeah. That, that's really awesome. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty cool. Can you do that jumping back and back no, in? No, I tried. Oh, uh, that really sucks. Yeah, why don't yeah, you take that out? That was one of the first moments when I went, what the fuck? This is... Well, they That's can... a really short demo. It's a really short demo. There's plenty more I could detail here, but I just wanted to show off the demo itself, talk about a few of the weird problems with it. From our understanding, this is a really, really old demo, and that can fix some things, but uh, the 30 frames per second thing, that's not changing. There's not a chance in hell. You don't lock at 30 frames per second and then later on up it to 60. That's not possible. They would have to remove half of the level to... No, no, it just runs horribly at 60. Why not? Oh, okay. So it's like the 3D mode, which reminds me, every post I've read from anyone who tried the 3D mode said it was outright nauseating <laughs> because they did it wrong. Huh. Which, you know, with that much motion blur and weird 2D effects causing depth conflicts, I could understand that. I'm not sure, though, why they added 3D if it's just going to look bad. 
Also, it has horribly unstable frame rates. Sometimes dipping as low as 10. Wow. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's not good. No, it's not good. Now, a lot of the tech uh, choices I was talking about make sense for a 3D, you know. Like, that, that makes sense there to have that much motion blur. He's moving, you know, the perspective looks like it's moving more. In any case, yeah. I, I think I'm just going to cut this off here and go, I hope this is better by the time it comes out, but I really don't think it's going to. Um, go check out our other video where I'm going to scrutinize the ever-loving shit out of this. Or our other quick plays where we cover other new demos and games and... Goobity gop. Yeah, goobity gop. Goobity gop. Goobity gop. Great googly moogly. Yeah, great googly moogly. What's the name of that thing from Dexter's Lab? For video reviews, quick plays, top eights, and more, go to gigaboots.com.